Hi guys, welcome back. So in today's video, this is episode one of a three part series on this B7 RS4. So we're gonna be, in episode one, we're gonna be doing a carbon clean and installing a Miltec exhaust system. Episode two, we're going to be installing the Bilstein suspension. So moving away from the factory problematic DRC system and installing the Bilstein coilover system and obviously doing the wheel alignment. And then on episode three, we're going to be bringing that all together with an ECU remap, getting it on the dyno and showing you how much power the car makes standard. And then now, um, so obviously as part of this episode, we're going to be talking about the carbon clean. So let's pop open the bonnet and have a little look inside and tell you more about it. Okay, so we've got the bonnet open. We just thought we'd show you um, sort of what we talk about all the time in some of the other videos we've done so you can really visualize why you need to get the decoke done on this car and why it makes such a big performance benefit. So um, these cars are direct injection. So if you're not already familiar with what that means is the fuel is injected directly into the combustion cylinder. So in years gone by, um, cars had what's called indirect injection and that's where you have the intake manifold and the injectors inject through the intake manifold and into the intake port. So the reason why you decoke is because carbon builds up on the intake ports and any parts that are in that. So you've got like the, uh, the valves and then you've also got um, things like the dividers on these B7 RS4s as well. So all that starts to clog up and obviously on a high revving engine like this, you really need the flow. Well, I need the flow on all engines to make really good power efficiently. So um, because on this car, you don't have the indirect injection, that means that that fuel is no longer going through or past all those parts. And what happens is that fuel would usually have a cleaning effect. So it wouldn't allow all of those like carbon deposits to build up, which get breathed through the cylinders, through the breather system and all that kind of stuff. And what happens is as it goes through the intake, it cools down on those parts and it solidifies and the um, indirect injection would usually not allow that to happen. So because of the direct injection that's injecting directly into the cylinder, you get no cleaning effect whatsoever. So this particular engine over time will naturally start to block up on the valve train or the valves rather, the intake ports and the intake port dividers. So it is a lose-lose in all situations. And that's why we're doing this uh, maintenance routine on this car. So um, that's obviously the why we do it. So we'll get the car in the workshop and we'll show you exactly how bad this car is.
Okay, so exhaust system is fitted to the B7RS4. It's got the Cerakote tips, which look absolutely incredible. So um, we're gonna show you what the exhaust sounds like before and then after. So that's the end of episode one. In the next episode, we're gonna be installing the Bilstein coilovers onto this B7 RS4. So stay tuned for that. You can do that by liking, subscribing, and hitting that notification bell. So we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't done already, then give us a thumbs up. If you wanna watch some of our other videos that YouTube thinks you'll like, then click up here. If you wanna watch some other videos in the same playlist, then click here. And if you haven't done already, then hit the subscribe button right here.